Fumigation. Fumigation in some cases is the necessary way in eradicating drywood termites from the home. Here at Truly Nolan, safety is key in any service, both for our valued customers and service technicians. Here we have outlined the fumigation process to help make the service as safe and as smooth as possible. The fumigation team must have access to the entire structure during the treatment period. Customers will provide keys to the service coordinator prior to the fumigation date. Outside doors will be locked and secondary locks applied before the fumigation process commences. All food including items in the refrigerator and freezer, animal feed, liquor, drugs and medicine, and personal care items such as cosmetics, skin care items, and dental hygiene items must be removed from the structure. Items in metal cans, jars, or bottles with the original manufacturer seal intact may remain in the structure. Plants must be removed from the interior of the structure. Any plant within one foot of the building or vines attached to the building must be removed or cut back to provide space for the tarpaulin to fall freely to the ground. In order to ensure the fumigation is successful, there may be times we need to go over the plants to have a proper ground seal. In these cases, the plants can become compromised. All animals, including dogs, cats, birds, and fish, and all pet food must be removed from the property. Homeowners are also strongly encouraged to notify their immediate neighbors of the date of the fumigation and urge them to keep their pets away during the fumigation time. Truly Nolan is not liable for any pet illnesses, injury, or death that could be associated with fumigation. Mattresses, bean bags, and pillows in waterproof covers only, except waterbeds, must be removed. The fumigant, in some cases, can get trapped in the cover. In the case of a baby crib or sick room bed, the covers must be removed. Due to the nature of the fumigation service and conditions that can affect the job, such as wind, rain, or storms, it is not feasible to commit a specific timeline for the initiation of work. On the day scheduled, we can estimate an a.m. or p.m. start time. Valuables such as jewelry, cash, and negotiable securities must be removed from the structure. All safes must be emptied and left ajar. All firearms and ammunition must be removed from the structure. This protects both parties in case of a third-party intrusion. For additional security, we recommend that you research options to hire security at your own expense. Extinguish all flames including pilot lights on water heaters, gas refrigerators, ranges, ovens, and broilers. Truly Nolan is not responsible for extinguishing and or relighting pilot lights. The homeowner is encouraged to make arrangements with the gas company for a gas shutoff at the meter prior to the fumigation team's arrival, and then the requisition of gas service after the structure is cleared for reoccupancy. If the gas or pilot light is on, the job will not commence. Turn off or unplug all electrical heating elements such as those in heaters, pianos, and organs. Turn off all thermostats, air conditioning units, and automatic and or electrical attic venting units. Automatic switch controls for appliances, landscape irrigation systems, and lighting systems. If any overhead electrical service wires connected to the structure may pose a risk to the crew, then the homeowner will contact his or her service provider to make the needed repairs in advance of the fumigation date. Truly Nolan requires electrical service in order to use fans to circulate the fumigant. Water must also be accessible. Notify Truly Nolan of any connecting structures such as conduits, drains, or vents that might allow fumigant to pass from the target structure into an unintended structure. Open all interior doors, cabinets, and drawers at least four inches. Raise all blinds and open all draperies and curtains. There can be no interior doors locked at the time of fumigation. Rake decorative bark, gravel, and rock back from the structure's foundation by at least 18 inches. To aid in creating the ground seal, the soil around the foundation should be soaked to a depth of 6 inches and out 12 inches from the structure's foundation on the evening prior to the scheduled fumigation. Vehicles parked in the garage should be removed or left unlocked with the trunk open. 
The keys will also need to go to the service coordinator prior to the fumigation date. For any questions or concerns, please refer to your fumigation checklist and facts of fumigation sheet. Now is a great time to consider a preventative treatment with a long-term residual, our TTP program. Visit trulynolan.com or contact your local pest expert today. And thank you from Truly Nolan. Only the best.